classes of livers in human body. Now there are three classes of liver. First class liver does not have any mechanical advantage, something like a seesaw that you have played in the park. And then the second class liver has mechanical advantage. You can think of carrying load on this um, cart. And then the third class liver shoveling snow. So you're not really getting much mechanical advantage in this case. Now on the body, uh, there are lots of joints and head joints, ankle, elbow, wrist. In every single joint, uh, your back, every single joint of the body is using some type of lever. It could be first class, second class, or third class. Now one example of first class lever is the opening the jaw. So when you're trying to open the jaw, you apply the force this way and then is open and closed this way. So it, you can think of something like a seesaw that you play in a park. It does not have any mechanical advantage. You can call that the first class lever is a neutral lever. On the other hand, your ankle joint is carrying the entire body weight. So it needs some help. So that's why the ankle joint use mechanical advantage. The second lever, second class lever, which has um, uh, mechanical advantage to carry that body weight. People can go all the way up to 500 pounds and you're carrying walking for all day. So you can see this example in the gym also. People are trying to show up putting a bunch of 45 pounds here on this rod and then they're trying to pull up this way. You can see this one also an example because you could carry a lot of load here as you know so it uses some kind of mechanical advantage. Now the third class lever on the other hand is mechanically disadvantaged so it's not really uh, giving you any kind of advantage in terms of uh, multiplying the uh, force. So it is a disadvantage lever. So you can think of that, you're trying to carry a load here, applying the muscle force this way, and this is where the fulcrum or the feet pivot. So if you are pivoting here and then muscle is applying this way, then you cannot really carry mass load on this hand. And you can understand by from your experience that is this we will show in one of the calculations that this muscle actually produce huge amount of force just to carry maybe a five pound load on this position like this. However, the reason why we have the first third class lever here is because of this bone. Whether you believe in God or evolution, for we don't carry a load in our hand like these leg bones. So leg bones are evolved very strong. On the other hand, the hand bone is very, very weak because it is not used, it is not evolved or not necessary for God to give you that strong hand here because you have to carry that load. So you, re you don't use hand bone like your leg bone. So this bone is not really that strong. So if you use a strong lever here, then it's going to break here. You have seen that people arm wrestle and then they break their hand right here sometimes because this muscle is too strong for this bone. So the third class river here is for some reason, not just randomly there. And every single place of the body is like this. In the next video, I'll show you how you... What is the technique to calculate uh, or this muscle force or bone force or joint force, things like that, where you have levers? It's very simple technique. Um, once you understand, you can calculate any, um, any load, anything that is needed. So in the next video, I'll show you how to calculate um, solve problems uh, where you have levers involved in it.